Market insiders believe investing in the space industry is a lucrative bet. The industry is already estimated at some 340 billion US dollars, and South Korea is hoping to expand its share of that pie. Our Ian Jin explains. A giant satellite antenna with a diameter of 27.4 meters is South Korea's National Registered Cultural Heritage number 436. In 1970, it became South Korea's first to provide satellite communications to seven overseas countries. The Gumsan Satellite Service Center in Chungcheongnam-do province, operated by domestic telecommunications firm KTSAT, has now grown into the largest of its kind in Asia with 45 giant antennas and five satellites. With a network that covers 60 percent of the world, KTSAT provides high-speed satellite data, broadcasting and marine communications and has launched a space data business that combines artificial intelligence with satellite data. KTSAT plans to establish a multi-orbit satellite communication network equipped with low-orbit satellites at an altitude of 500 kilometers, medium-orbit satellites, and geostationary satellites at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers that covers the entire world by 2030. A terrestrial network is sufficient for 5G, but satellite communication is essential for 6G, which transmits 125 gigabytes per second. Construction of the 6G system itself uses both terrestrial and satellite networks. That's why without building both together, it would be difficult to have the communication services expected from 6G. SK Broadband opened the Yeoju Satellite Center in Gyeonggi-do province in 2017 to receive overseas broadcasts via satellite and use it as part of its IPTV service. The Yeoju Satellite Center has one antenna that is 11 meters wide and four antennas with a diameter of 6.4 meters. These antennas are also used for deep space exploration at a distance of more than 1 million kilometers. Equipped with a reflector that's 35 meters wide, the antennas will be in charge of ground equipment related to the lunar probe scheduled to be launched in August and Korean lunar orbiter deep space communication. The global space industry market is worth around 340 billion U.S. dollars, but the size of South Korea's is only about 2.7 billion. As growth of the global space industry is expected to double over the next decade, South Korea is setting its sights on thoroughly preparing related businesses. Ian Jin, Arirang News.